Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday video where we cover one subject in about two minutes. Today we're talking about the Trim by Surfaces feature that is found under the Edit menu. Here it is, Trim by Surfaces. To start out we have to have multiple surfaces that intersect, surfaces that we can trim. And let's see, here we have a section of a boiler tank, that's what this pink cylindrical shape is, and we have a green pipe that is piercing the side of our boiler tank. We would like to trim these surfaces so that the inside of the pipe will be uh, gone and also the circular section in here will be gone so that the pipe will basically be protruding from the outside surface of our tank. Let's get started. Click on Edit, Trim by Surfaces. Notice at the top there's a table that shows Group A and Group B. This is how we will categorize our surfaces that we'll be trimming with each other. For example, the boiler tank will be group A and the pipe will be group B. Down at the bottom we see an instruction that says select surfaces for group A. Select the two surfaces that make up the tank. Notice that the table has been populated. There's now two. Uh, down here in the entity selection frame we're done selecting group A, so let's go to group B. And down here of course there are instructions that say select surfaces for group B. Let's select the two surfaces that make up this pipe. All right. Now to make this interesting we want to get rid of the portion of the pipes that are on the inside of the tank. So over here in the advanced frame uh, we, we notice that it actually it's already done. The keep inside is unchecked. We want to keep the outside portions. All right, And we're going to trim A with B and trim B with A. That way we'll get rid of this uh, the pink disc area in there. All right. So let's uh, make sure we select the group, the pipe. That's our group B. Our table has uh, two surfaces for group A and two surfaces for group B. Push imprint. Uh, this is just uh, showing you what it's going to look like. It's uh, giving you color codes for the things that will be trimmed. And uh, I like this, so let's go ahead and push OK. And as you can see, the pipe was trimmed to the surface of the boiler tank and we can see through it. Now notice that this line was left on the inside and that's okay. We can get rid of that if we don't want it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and have a pleasant Tuesday.